at baking hot Chidambaram Stadium in Chennai, India. A one-day semi-final and two fierce rivals were the ingredients for this cricket classic as India hosted Pakistan in the Independence Cup of 1997. The field is a nervous. The batsmen are tense. And the bowlers are under pressure. Down the wicket, he's hit it in the air. This will be out. Mid on. He's got him. The first wicket falls. And that's a good breakthrough for India. That certainly is. You can see the jubilation, not only of the crowd, but of the spectators, uh, but of the fielders as well. And certainly, I think uh, this is not what Pakistan had wanted. I feel they're bitterly disappointed, but I think India needed this uh, wicket. Ramiz Raja is the one who's going to take the one and give Saeed Anwar as much strike as possible. Slashes through the offside, too much width. Prasad under pressure, there's always already been some field changes forced upon him. 19 for one. Well, again, the flashing guy, that's gone all the way. Timing and placement, unbelievable hit. Very high and very far. Flashing blade again on the offside. The fielder at third man will have to move quickly. Gets a foot to it. The pressure is on the Indian bowler here. Prasad is feeling it. Saeed Anwar is aware of it. He's trying to increase that pressure. He knows he's got him worried. He's trying to just work on that. The psychological advantage is his and he's going to make the most of it. Very colourful crowd here today. Already a full house here in Madras. Very hot and steamy conditions. So Kumbhla it is now to side downward. And that smashed straight down the ground for a boundary. Oh, just going over the rope. He didn't really time it well, but got enough bat on that for the ball to reach the fence. And he goes over the top and very clean. One bounce over the ropes. Another boundary here for Anwar. And Anwar goes here over the top. Again, lovely piece of timing. One bounce over square leg for four. It's only a lovely shot. Charging and hitting over the top. Yes, he's got it over mid on. And a 50 for Saeed Anwar from just 44 balls. So he's taken over the mantle from Afridi magnificently here this afternoon. A very brilliant 50 by Saeed Anwar. Coming again and going over the top. He's trying to hit it over the deep fielder into the stand and he does so. So there's confidence for you. He's really taking the initiative here to Joshi. So he won't be looking forward to his other six overs if indeed he's asked to bowl them. Four for 31 so far. He's bowling, he played it on, it wasn't short enough, just skidding through a bit too quickly onto him. Ramiz Raja, a little frustrated with his scoring rate, tried to pull the ball through mid-wicket, bottom edge, onto the stumps. Ijaz Ahmed has arrived at the crease but also what's happened in the meantime is that Saeed Anwar as a runner and that's uh, Afridi has come out to run for him so obviously he's stressed, struggling and that was just stroked he didn't even try and hit it too hard even what timing that was, brilliant timing once that ball beat the inside field that went past the boundary line. Four runs to side Anwar. I'm sure Pakistan will be looking for a big score and there once again side Anwar bisecting those two fielders. So 99 not outside Anwar. He's on strike here to Robin Singh. That should be it. His 12th hundred in one day international cricket. His first against the Indians. And it's been a superb knock by this flamboyant left-hander from Pakistan. And that was a brilliant knock. And what, how nice to see not only his teammates cheering from the dressing room, but also the huge crowd here. They are uh, celebrating his hundred. And 
this will be four runs just beating the diving Mongia very delicately delicately played by Ijaz and with their ball going down the leg side and Ijaz just managed to put the bat to the ball Robin Singh continues in the air and over mid off a couple of bounces into the boundary that's pretty tough work for the bowlers Again, gives it the full flow of the bat as he so wants to do, and he has done so well today. It was a bad ball, pitched on the next stump. That'll just about do it. That'll take him to 121. It goes past the highest score formerly held by Javed Meandad of 119, scored at Lahore in 82 83. The sun going down. Maybe it's the moon coming up this. I think the players will be happy the sun's going down. And there's four more. Hey. Oh. Another indication of Anglia. There's a shy at the stumps, hits the stumps. Look to be well in. Katie France it is nevertheless going to ask for it. But time will tell with the third umpire, Steve Dunn, making the decision. Yes. Good throw. Well, clearly passed the lane there. So Saeed Anwar just showing that he wants to relax a little and can serve his streak. 206 for two. Ah! Oh, there's a louder shout here. Yes, and he's given him LBW. He tried to dab it down. The ball was far too close to him, Ijaz Ahmed. And he's been given out LBW by KT Francis. And so at last the Indian strike. Pakistan 2 1 3 for 3. This time he puts it over mid wicket. That's where he was looking to find the gap, and he's done so for four. Tried off the first ball of the over. This time he does connect. Away for another boundary. end up with 180 just by getting a runner ball if he gets uh, half the number of balls to be bowled and this one could be out caught at long on and our understanding is well, that it was dropped I just couldn't quite pick it up but again it's a just at the top of his fingers like a goalkeeper he just pushed it into the boundary going again and really trying to hit this one for six and it has gone well, this man could end up with 200 the way that he's going, plus. Pakistan would probably be looking for over 300 runs if he continue in this mood. Going again, this looks as though it's gone. Yes, it's gone. The fieldsman just watching it sail over the top of him over mid-wicket. So magnificent hitting here, throwing total caution to the wind, but finding the middle of the bat. Tremendous stuff. Three balls, three sixes again, getting up under the ball. He's got to get it in the block hole, he didn't. It was a big full toss, and he's miscued it a bit by comparison. It still goes for four, so 24 from the over, 246, 247 for three. Oh, that's brilliant batting. Again, picking a spot, just walking across the stumps so that he could get the placement right on the onside. He's taken the aerial route again and he's found the gap again. He's split the field there. He's beaten long off and long on for another boundary. He's such a powerful hitter and uh, we'll see this again that uh, Inzimam just pickled this ball straight back over the head of the field there. And that's very nicely played on the onside to become the highest scorer in one day cricket. He knows it and the crowd rise up to cheer him as one. Terrific innings from Saeed Anwar. 190 not out. He knew it the moment he hit that ball. He knew it was going for four and he knew that he's going to break the record of Vivian Richards. He's far got another boundary here. He smashed that behind point in the air. And again found the gap. 
He's got a remarkable knack. And this has gone in the air. This will be a very good catch if he takes it. Yes, he has. So an end of a superb innings from Said Anwar. Just getting the top edge there. It's great innings coming to an end. Yes, one of the all-time great innings in one-day cricket. What elevation he's getting. Anwar's magnificent 194 included 22 fours and five sixes. It remains the highest total in one-day cricket and set India a near impossible target of 328 to win. They reached 292.